is Jason Brown. I'm a river engineer with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers St. Louis District. On May 2nd, with the Mississippi River at historic levels, the decision was made by the Mississippi River Commission and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to operate the Birds Point New Madrid floodway in southern Missouri. In the following weeks, the decision was also made to operate the Morganza floodway and the Bonacary spillway in southern Louisiana. So with the operations of these floodways and spillways, uh, the questions come up, what are floodways and spillways? And to really understand that, we need to look at the history behind uh, floodways and spillways and how they came to be. In 1927, there was a historic flood on the Mississippi River that caused a lot of uh, property damage as well as lives lost. Uh, because of this flood, Congress directed the Corps to come up with an overall flood control plan to prevent uh, disasters like this and that magnitude in the future. Over 300 plans were submitted to Congress, uh, but the plan that was chosen was uh, submitted by Major General Edgar Jadwin, who was the Chief of Engineers with the Corps. This plan had two main innovations, uh, the first of which was the use of floodways and spillways, and secondly, uh, the plan also implemented the use of a project flood, which was designed on, based on historic rainfall and runoff patterns. The Jadwin plan and its comprehensive approach to flood control led to the design of the Mississippi River and Tributaries Project, uh, the MRT project. Uh, this project uh, contains the Birds Point New Madrid floodway, the Morganza floodway, the West Atchafalaya floodway, and the Bonacary spillway. Uh, these floodways and spillways should be noted, and it's important to note that they're operated when the Mississippi River Commission directs the Corps of Engineers to operate these floodways. Getting back to the question, what are floodways and spillways? Floodways and spillways are a natural floodplain with a controlled opening to allow excess water to flow past critical reaches of the Mississippi River. Uh, the Corps operates the MRT floodways and spillways, but there's other floodways and spillways along the watershed. Behind me, I have an example of a typical floodway on the Mississippi River. Um, in blue, you see the Mississippi River channel uh, on the outside edge of the floodway, which is drawn in green. Um, and like I mentioned before, the Mississippi River Commission directs the Corps of Engineers to operate these floodways at predetermined river stages. So the way this whole thing works is uh, once the Mississippi River reaches that predetermined stage, there's an inlet crevasse that's made at the upper end upstream end of the floodway, and the flood water is allowed to flow in and fill up the floodway. And the allowing this water to get in to uh, the floodway and taking that volume of water away from the river in this critical reach uh, brings down the river stages and reduces the pressure on the levee system adjacent to this floodway. So once the water gets into the floodway, you have to let the water back out. So the Corps of Engineers, uh, again according to a predetermined plan, uh, will op open the downstream end of the floodway at one or more locations to let the water back out. Okay, as I stated before, the floodways and spillways in the MRT system are only operated as needed. The Birds Point New Madrid floodway has only been operated one other time before this year, and that was during the flood of 1937. The Morganza floodway has also only been operated one other time in the flood of 1973, and the Bonacary spillway uh, has been operated a total of nine times, with the most recent event in 2008. Okay, in, in summary, again, I think it's again important to note that the Corps of Engineers only uses these floodways and spillways uh, as they're needed. Um, and again, the floodways and spillways are using the natural floodplain in a controlled way to reduce the pressure on the overall levee system and reducing the pressure on the levee system ultimately reduces the risk of a massive flood in the future.